Hello everyone, Carol Garrison, Carol's Creative Escape. It is time for a Make It Monday on a Tuesday tonight. Um, if you have a chance, give me a quick hello. Let me know that you're out there. Um, apologize for not being able to go live last night, but I actually have two really good reasons why that didn't happen. And I'm just making sure I'm out here on uh, Facebook land real quick. Um, two really good reasons. Hey Kay, thanks for joining me tonight on a, a Tuesday instead of a Monday here. Um, anyhow, I have two really good reasons why I wasn't able to go live last night. My plan was to spend some time on Sunday getting ready for the class, designing my cards and that kind of thing. And instead I opted to spend the full day um, down in Goodhue with my son, daughter-in-law and little baby Cece. So um, that is how I spent the day and um, wouldn't have traded that for a minute. And then last night, I just didn't have time from when I got home from work um, to get something filmed to put it on. We actually entertained, um, I think we had a total of 10 people at our house last night for dinner. My husband's sister uh, was in town from uh, Casper, Wyoming, along with her daughter and son-in-law. And so we got to have a nice dinner with several members of my husband's family that we haven't seen in, in quite a while. So... Um, it just didn't work. I didn't want to do a video and upload it without being able to talk to you guys and everything. So I just decided I was going to move it to Tuesday. So I apologize for those who were looking for it last night, but um, I just needed to make a, a decision. And like I said, I wouldn't trade the time that I spent with family. So I appreciate your understanding with that. Um, tonight, I have a, a series of cards that I want to share with you all made using an embossing folder that's in the annual catalog. Hey Kay, thanks for letting me know it's a good reason. I thought it was too. They're growing up, my, my granddaughter's eight months old now and it's really hard to believe that she's hit that age already because um, it sure seems like just yesterday they were coming home from the hospital. So I cherish those moments that I can spend some time with her. Um, anyhow, um, the cards I'm going to show you tonight, the primary focus on these cards is an embossing folder and it's the Painted Posies 3D embossing folder. And I promise you guys, once you see these cards that I've made, I think you're going to want to purchase this. So I'm going to tell you the number even for this um, amazing embossing folder. It is 159175. So again, it's the Painted Posies 3D embossing folder. 159175. I just have to tell you, I've, I've got a <clears throat> visitor with me tonight in my craft space. I'm in the lower level of my home and it's a fully finished area. Um, you know, not a creepy basement, anything like that. Messy, yes, but not, not an icky basement. It's a very, very nice space and just looked off to the right of my, my phone and stuff where I'm recording and I've got a spider coming down from the ceiling on a spider wood a little web that it's dropped down so as long as it stays over there I'm okay I'm not gonna make it move <laughs> anyhow um, let me go ahead and flip this camera over so that you can see the embossing folder that I'm talking about and then I can jump in and start showing you the cards so um, I've got a couple examples that range from really simple to make to um, a couple examples that took a little bit more time to make so let me flip the phone over you can take a look at my lighthouses in case you're ever wondering, that's uh, Lighthouse's Two Harbors Lighthouse, which is up in Two Harbors, Minnesota, on the North Shore. Um, it's actually a bed and breakfast, so it's kind of a fun, fun place to go to. Um, my husband and I actually stayed there a few years ago. And the cool part about it is, I'm going to flip this a little bit. I so apologize. I don't know why I'm having problems with this. Anyhow, the cool thing about that lighthouse is it's supposed to be haunted. We didn't see anything when we stayed at it, but it's kind of a fun story anyhow. All right, let's get straightened around here on my workspace. And, wow, that didn't take very long. Yay, Carol. Okay, so anyhow, here is the embossing folder. I'm actually going to put it on here so that you can see it a little bit better. And again, this is the Painted Posies. 3D embossing folder, so it's giving you a really deep impression when you um, run it through your dye um, emboss machine. And um, 
it's just a bunch of flowers. So you don't have to really do anything when you're making cards. So I'm gonna start by showing you the really easy cards that I made. And it's just simply using very vanilla cardstock. And this is some of the soft seafoam ribbon that's in the annual catalog. And um, I used a thinking of you. I've got a ton of stamp sets on my desk. So which one did I use for this? Um, I don't know. I must have put it away. But you can put any kind of sentiment. I just did it in the soft sea foam. Um, didn't really want that to be the focus of the card or anything like that. So this is on very vanilla and it's just a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock with a four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock that I ran through the embossing folder. And that's all there is to it. But I think if I hold it up, you can really see the depth of that um, embossing on there. And I don't know, for those of you um, that don't know, way back when I started making cards, I started doing the embossing with um, the stylus and the light table. I actually still have it, you know, with all the brass um, embossing plates, I guess for lack of a better word, and a light table with a stylus, and I would just emboss and get these kind of raised images. So I think this kind of brings me back to those days. So here's one just in basic white. And I used some of the glittered organdy ribbon just to add a little pop to the card. And then this sentiment, this congratulations, I did not fussy cut that. Um, I need to share with you where that's from. So this is same measurements on basic white. Um, those very, very quick and easy cards. But the sentiments are in the Charming Sentiments stamp set, and it comes as a bundle. This is a photopolymer set, so you can see what stamps you're using or what stamps you're missing. And then it includes matching dies. Now, what's really cool about these dies, because you're probably going, Carol, those are just words. Um, you know I don't mind fussy cutting, but I know not everybody likes to fussy cut. And I struggle even sometimes going around words and doing the fussy cutting. I tend to stick more with my um, dies or punches where I can just get a shape out around them because sometimes I'm not consistent in my cutting. These dies all go with the sentiments in here. So this is a million dollar stamp set. And um, that means it was designed by a demonstrator who reached a million dollars in sales. Um, when a demonstrator does that, they are recognized highly by the Stamping Up Home Office. And one of the things that they get to do is work with one of the design team members and create their own stamp sets. And um, the individual that did this stamp set, and I wanna say, just a second here. I have to find one of the catalogs. Um, I believe, I wanna give credit where credit is due. I don't wanna say the wrong name. Page 38 in the annual catalog. Lisa Curcio. Um, she's been with Stamping Up for quite a while and does some beautiful cards. And um, she's the one that came up with this idea. And so there are dies that go with each of these stamp sets now, or each of these sentiments here. There's 17 stamps in the set. The die set, however, includes a total of 30 dies. Yes, 30 dies. So we already know 17 of those dies are tied up in words. And you can see on here, I've got numbers in each of my dies. And here I had to fix my dies because I didn't quite have the right numbers in here. Those correspond to the sentiment. And I just made a quick list on the blank insert that comes with my die set. And so I put it into the envelope this way so I know if I've got the woohoo stamp, I need the number four die right here and I can match it up. I don't have to spend a lot of time trying to figure out which die goes with which stamp. It's pretty obvious, but not always. 
Okay, but then in addition to the 17 dies that go with the sentiments, you've got a couple hearts, a couple um, stars, and these are gonna do a little embossing. That, that heart has a little heart inside, a little star. Um, birthday candles maybe, a wand. I'm not quite sure, a stem for maybe the flowers and then just this row of dots. So there's a lot of cool dies that come with this set as well. Now, you can get this in the annual catalog. It is available now. Um, the dies and stamp set are currently available as a bundle, which means you're gonna, whoops, okay. Sorry, the dog just came downstairs to get his ball and pulled one of the cords on my desk. Um, so you can save 10% when you bundle it. So anyhow, that's where the sentiment is coming from. You're gonna see a couple of these in the cards that I made tonight. So let me show you real quick just how easy it is to make this card. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm changing it up just a little bit and I'm going to be using a piece of um, the soft succulent cardstock and it's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of very vanilla and I did cut this at four by five and a quarter inches and I've already run it through my embossing machine. I didn't think that you guys needed me to demonstrate that. Obviously I put it in there, cranked it through and voila, that's what I came up with. And then I'm gonna put a piece of very vanilla on the inside of this card. I am also going to use some of my soft succulent ribbon just to decorate this a little bit. And what I would like to do, um, I'm going to make this a good luck card. So I've pulled out the good luck stamp and the not that you need it stamp from the Charming Sentiment stamp set. And somewhere, I'm, tonight's one of those nights, I think I stayed up a little too late last night with company. And I seem to just be losing things left and right. But... Here is my scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock. I am going to use Evening Evergreen to stamp my good luck sentiment. So I'm just gonna kind of put that right here. And then I am going to use, set that aside. Again, the Evening Evergreen for the inside sentiment, which is not that you need it. And I'm just gonna put this hopefully right in the center of my card, okay? And I will let the ink dry for a minute and I'm just gonna clean off on my chamois here. You can tell this is a well-used chamois. It used to be a light purple and now it is covered in ink. This is what it looks like when it's brand new. I've cut this in half, but um, for those of you that don't know, this is what a chamois looks like when it's brand new. It's kind of hard. And when you add just a little bit of water to it, it softens up and then you can clean your stamps off really well. You don't get the splatters or anything like that. I really like this product and it, does stain this thing it doesn't matter I just rinse mine in water periodically and every once in a while I'll just toss it in my washer all by itself on a real quick cycle to give it a good rinse but um easy easy if you don't have one of those you might want to add it to your collection all right the next thing we're going to do is take this good luck die and I am going to cut it out using the mini machine here so it sandwiches just like the the larger embossing machine so you'll have a number one plate and then a number two plate and then I am going to line up my die um, for these word dies I'm actually surprised how easy they are to line up even though you can't see everything on here let me shove that out of the way for a minute um, I haven't had one that I've cut yet, and I'm hoping tonight is not the time when I'm live where I've had an issue with that. So I just line it up, as you can see, 
And then I just have a piece of washi tape I keep on the handle of my die cut machine. I'm gonna throw it right over there and that'll hold it in place. And then I'm gonna take my second number two plate on this mini machine. This mini machine is great for these words. And I'm just gonna crank her through. And let, let's hope that the ease of lining up that I was telling you about holds true for me here. Ready? I'll just peel off my tape and I put it back on the handle and I keep using it until I can't. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So that, that's how easy these are to line up. And like I said, I've used a few different words and I haven't had any problems with any of them. So that is, a, and it's got great, um, it's got really good sentiments in it, I think, too. You know, thank you, everything will be okay, beyond grateful, woohoo, hey there, super fantastic, mega news. So there's kind of two greetings that go together so you can have an inside and an outside greeting. Um, babies are a blessing, so tiny, so precious, wishing you happiest birthdays, um, congratulations, wishing you everything wonderful because you deserve, totally deserve it. Um, you know, what's new, faith over fear, good luck, just great great sentiments and I love that I can die cut them out and pop them up and stuff it just um, I, what this does is allow me to pop it up and it just adds a little bit more detail to the card I don't know I really like them all right I do have a spot of something on here so I'm gonna make sure that that gets covered up with my inside piece and I will put that just right there. There was another demonstrator this week, Susan Camfield, that asked a question, what cardstock do you normally use, basic white or um, very vanilla? And it's, I, I tend to go to basic white. I don't think that's probably all that uncommon. Um, but hi, Pam, how are you tonight? Thanks for tuning in. Um, anyhow, when I when she asked that question, I'm like, yeah, I almost always use basic white, so it caused me to come up with a couple of ways that I could use um, some very vanilla cardstock in my card tonight. So that is what I've done. And then I want to just tie a little ribbon here because I know my good luck isn't going to be super big. And this is the um, sheer soft succulent ribbon in... Um, the annual catalog this was in last year's catalog and it carried over so it's still available in all of the in colors I'm not very good at tying bows so bear with me a minute here they either work or they don't and then I just say forget it and I'm gonna do it a different way <clears throat> and I think let me see if it helps if I cut it off my spool When you're wrapping it around the card and you're tying the bow, you don't have to worry so much about placement yet because you can always shift it on your card front. It's better to get the bow lined up how you want it. And actually, I don't think that's all that bad. So I am going to stop right here. Oh, look what I did. All right, not a problem. We're going to make it work. I cut right through the ribbon I wrapped around my card base. I didn't quite cut through it. Oops. I don't think anybody but me is going to know. Well, me and everybody that's watching. We'll make that work. Okay. Ugh, we're not going to make that work. Because it'll bug me and I'm afraid it's going to fray. You know, some things I can let go. I can let a spot on my card go easier, apparently, than I can let the ribbon go. I'm going to cut another piece. I'll get that out of the way. Let's try it again here. That was such a nice bow, too. Oh, well. So, did you guys all have a good weekend? Um, I know a lot of the country right now is in some really, really hot weather. We've had a couple days with the heat index up to 
a hundred or almost a hundred, but our temps are sitting there in the upper nineties and um I'd hoped last night that we could maybe eat outside and it was just too darn hot for that. So we ended up coming inside and um the bigger problem for me is just this awful humidity that we get. Um, but we're supposed to be getting a break from that, at least for tomorrow. All right, Carol, don't cut through this time. So we'll enjoy at least a little bit of humid free time tomorrow. All right, sorry for that little transgression. What kinds of things can you guys let go on your cards and not worry about it versus the things you have to fix? Make a little comment and let me know. I'm curious. Okay, so now we're just putting that on the front. And then with this good luck, I am finding that a lot of these work really well with mini glue dot or mini um, dimensionals. If you want to pop them up, they seem to have the right spacing to be able to do that. And I'm actually just going to put two on there and put it right here over the ribbon so that it just pops up a little bit. And there you go, that's how easy this card is to make. So think of that, you could you could mass produce these pretty easily if you needed to. Um, you know, we've got an inside sentiment, we've got this lovely um, 3D effect on the outside. So again, here's the first two that I showed you. Um, this is featuring soft sea foam and very vanilla. This one's got the soft succulent with very vanilla. And then this is basic white with navy on the congratulations sentiment here. Okay, I wanna show you just a couple other cards that I did make, whoops, um, using this die and the charming sentiments as well, but I kinda of stepped these up a little bit and I knew I couldn't show you how to do it tonight because they do take up a little bit of time. Um, the first one is this card that just says, you mean the world to me. And on the inside, um, I've stamped it, and it's supposed to have a second greeting that says something about I can't thank you enough or something like that, and I can't find that stamp. I had it out, and it's disappeared on me, so I looked and looked for it, and I just had to stop looking um, because I wasn't finding it, and it'll show up as soon as I start looking again. Um, and step away from it you know how that goes so I just embossed this in white embossing powder and here is the um, embossing folder and what I did is just do a little fussy cutting around some of the flowers and only use part of that and then I took the flowers that are in the botanical layers stamp set and just used um, my um, Versamark sorry I was having problems remembering uh oh, it looks like I froze up. Um, all right, there, we're back now. Good. Um, and just did a little bit of kind of tone-on-tone -tone stamping with that, um, just to add a little pattern. I don't know if I'm crazy about that, but I, it was just too plain. And I just popped on a few pearls to decorate it. So I got to find my inside stamp and finish that card off. And then this one is using the polished pink cardstock and this was done on watercolor paper. I ran the embossing folder or the watercolor paper through the embossing folder. Pretty much all of these the measurements are exactly the same five and a half by eight and a half. Um, obviously this is four and a quarter by eleven but half a piece of cardstock and then um, just the layer of paper is four by five and a quarter same for the inside. This one, I actually use my um, watercolor pen and dipped in the ink um, to, you know, got the ink on the lid by closing it and then just got this a little bit wet and, and did the painting thing. And when I first started this, I worked really hard to stay inside the indentations and I didn't like it at all, and it took way more time than I have the patience to do. Um, and then 
I kind of thought about it and said, I don't have to stain the lines. I can make it kind of look like a watercolor look and just sort of use a variety of colors and start painting it. So it isn't perfect. Um, I mean, you can see that I didn't stay in the line. Sometimes I stayed in it and didn't go out of the line. Sometimes I went out of the line, but I just added colors randomly. I used Daffodil Delight Balmy Blue, a um, little bit of Fresh Freesia and Highland Heather, and Daffodil Delight, and I also used the Pale Papaya. And then the green tone is pear pizzazz. So I just kind of had fun coloring it, but you don't have to be perfect on it. And I think it actually looked better than staying in the lines because then there was just too much white that showed through. So again, here's another one of those sentiments, thank you, that I die cut out. And beyond grateful on the inside of that card. And then the final card that I wanna share with you that I made um, a while back, you may have seen my video where I took vellum paper and I did alcohol painting on it. And um, that's basically where you take your blends and color on the back or on one side of the vellum. And then you use 91% or higher isopropyl alcohol. And I just use a, one of the little misters. Um, I have one, that one's labeled water, but one of these little misters and um, I just spritz it over the vellum and then I take my heat gun. I let it run for a little bit. I may kind of roll my paper around like this and then I just take my heat gun and let it blow the alcohol around and that gives you this kind of watercolor look. Um, and then I ran it through, of course, the embossing folder and I did put this one under a, or on top of a piece of basic white cardstock because I find that that really makes the color pop a little bit more. And then here again, I use the wishing you the happiest of birthdays and on the inside because you totally deserve it. So this is using Highland Heather for the cardstock. And then I did use some of those iridescent rhinestones. Really like how that one turned out too. Um, it adds color. So what I wanted to do is just share with you a couple ways where you could use this embossing folder and come up with some really different looking cards just based on um, the technique that you applied to it. These two took probably the most time and then the others were really quite quick to put together. So depending on what you're looking at making, um, it, it doesn't take much more than a sentiment and an embossing folder to create some really beautiful cards. So again, this is the Painted Posies 3D embossing folder from the annual catalog. If you're interested in adding that to a future order with um, your demonstrator, or if you don't have one, I'd be happy to help you get that as well. The item number is 159175. So there you go, Painted Posies 3D embossing folder, alcohol technique, watercolor, a little fussy cutting, and just plain and simple greetings and um, like I said I pulled out a couple of the um, charming sentiments just to show you how nice they looked with the die cuts as well so highly recommend that stamp set too if you like to get a bunch of different sentiments thanks everyone for joining me on a Tuesday for make it Monday and we will see you next week have a great week bye bye